So, you want some shading of the viewport variation tips? That made sense. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Oh yeah. Uh, taking a look at uh, the viewport shading uh, types, I guess you want to call them, or modes, I suppose, uh, would be a better word for them. So, up in the top right-hand corner, you can see we have quite a few buttons up here in the viewport. So, this entire box where all of this, you know, the 3D space is at, where you can pan around and whatever, all of this, I'm clicking and uh, dragging my middle mouse button. Don't scroll it, because that'll zoom in and out. Click and drag it across, so if you click it, click the middle mouse button down, the middle mouse button down, and then just move your cursor around and hold it down, then you can move around. So this entire area um, is the viewport. So I want to I want to see what this is going to look like when I render it. So let's go ahead and hit Shift A and just add in like a monkey head. So monkey, hit G to move it over, double tap R to rotate it, hit S to scale it up. I just want to see what all this is going to look like if I just just add a couple of things here and I just I want to go ahead and make them colors as well so let's go ahead and make them different colors I'm gonna add a color material to this real quick I'll just do it all real quick add a material this will be like pink but you see it doesn't show up as pink when I do that it's very weird we'll show you in a second uh, this little cube as well uh, I'm gonna make this cube uh, blue and I'm gonna make this little monkey here I'm gonna make this monkey green so you can see we have all these different objects but none of them are actually showing up as a color why why are they not showing up as a, as a color even though we just added uh, a material to them like th they're showing up as just like this white color why is that well I show you why right now as you can see uh, up at the top right hand side we are in right now we're in viewport shading solid mode so if you says it says method to display slash shade objects in the 3d view and then it says we are in solid display in solid mode that's what it says so if we go to the left um, these four buttons right here are very important, these ones right here. So, if we go to the left, you can see this says um, wireframe. These, this is wireframe. So, if we hit this, it'll show us the wireframe of every object we have in the scene. So, obviously, a cube and a plane have less vertices and less, um, like, faces and whatever than a, a monkey does. So, the monkey has, obviously, more than the cube and the plane. If I go to the right, again, we're back on solid, and if we go to the right again, it's uh, material mode. So material mode is going to show us all of the materials and all of the textures that we've created. Um, um, but the thing is, is that it's not actually, this, this isn't what, what it's going to look like when we render it. It's not going to look anything like this when we render it. So um, this is useful for just seeing the materials without having a very um, laggy viewport, because if you have a lot of different things going on in your scene, then going to render viewport shading is going to show the shadows, it's going to show everything that's going to really bog down your computer. So you don't want that all the time. So material is great for just looking at your scene and getting a general basis of what it's going to look like. So if we go to the right one more time, we are now in rendered viewport shading. And as you can see, this is what it's going to look like when we render it. So if I hit, if I go up to the top and hit render, render image, it's going to look exactly like this just from the camera's point of view. So if I hit zero and go into the camera's view, it'll look just like this. Everything that's inside the camera's view will it'll, it'll render exactly like this, except the this button right here, the show overlays button, will be off. So it'll look just like this. It'll look exactly like this. It will not look like this. This is material mode. This is rendered mode. This is solid, and this is wireframe. So rendered viewport shading is exactly what's going to look like. Material is just to show the materials, just, see, just to get a feel for what's going to what what the colors are, what what it's going to look like, basically without shadows or anything like that. And then solid is just basic, you know, modeling viewport is the default mode. You can't see anything what it's gonna look like at all. And then uh, we have uh, wireframe. So that is the four different types of viewport shadings modes, I suppose you want to call them. If we drop this down, you can see we have um, the option to do a couple of different things. Um, in, view in render viewport shading, we have the ability to turn off scene lights or scene world. Um, in material, we have the same thing basically, except we have the ability to change the HDR kind of lighting setup. So it just ha it just changes the lighting in the material mode. Um, and then in solid, we have some more different types of things we can change. The uh, the same kind of thing we did in in material mode, just change the type of lighting that we have here. Uh, we can also do matte cap. You don't really want to mess with this stuff too much. Um, you can do a couple of these different ones. These are great for actually like modeling, like um, uh, actually sculpting and things like that that's what this is typically used for it's great for this keep in mind this is not what it's going to look like when you render it it's just to, to, to it's just to help you feel better essentially um while you're modeling it's not actually like this it will still look like 
this once you render it but just keep that in mind so it's not going to look like this and then also we have flat which is just obviously flat graphics and then all this stuff down here i mean like i said you don't really typically mess with this kind of stuff but just to you know go through it real quick we just have a couple of different things uh wireframe as well a little bit less of an options but it's just typically the same as solid so that is pretty much it for the um viewport shading modes i hope that kind of cleared it up for you a lot of people were like well why can't i see my materials why can't i see what it looks like and this is the reason why because you're either on solid viewport shading or you're on material and uh it looks different when you render it because if i were to go from this to this when i render it i would be quite confused so that is it pretty much make sure you're on render viewport shading if you want to see what it's going to look like before you render it um but uh but yeah so hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then Bye-bye.